Coming off a devastating loss from Stanford on Thursday, the Sun Devils lost yet again in a nail-biter against California. After being swept by Stanford at home, the Sun Devils hope to redeem themselves Sunday against Cal. It seems as if the Sun Devils have taken two steps forward and one step backwards as this loss is one out of a four-game losing streak after previously winning three games in a row. Once again, ASU is showing how inconsistent they can be as they have been making errors along with a low hitting percentage contributing to their losses. It does not seem as if the team is playing together and it showed throughout the game. Going into the match, Cal was the favorite team which should have relieved pressure off the Sun Devils as the underdog opponent. It's a lot harder to be in their shoes than in our shoes, in their shoes tonight because they, they're a better team than us right now. RPI-wise, ranking-wise, they're a better team than us. So for them, it's like, oh crap, we better not lose to ASU. So it's like, uh oh. For us, it's like, hey, let's go. Let's have fun. Let's do what we know how to do. We, we did it before. Let's go. This is the second time that the Sun Devils have lost in a five-set battle and just was not able to pull through in the end. After the first set, it seemed to fall apart for the Sun Devils as the setters were unable to get their hitters involved, which led to a lack of scoring and Cal would quickly take advantage of this. Coming off of 19 kills in the first set, hitting at 395, ASU then fell to 50% with 12 kills in the second set and only 9 kills in the third. Like usual, the Sun Devils tried to battle back late in the sets, but it was just too late and Cal would repeatedly capitalize on the mistakes made by ASU. And then as we went in the second set, our passing wasn't like dimes, it wasn't perfect, it was a little bit off the net medium passes, and our setter's rhythm wasn't good at that point, and so they were setting a lot of balls kind of like out of rhythm. And when the perfect pass happened, it was kind of like once in a few, you know, so they didn't, wasn't even know what to do with it. The Sun Devils are still struggling to find their rhythm, but need to pick it up quickly as they will be traveling to face off against both Oregon schools this week. They have already beaten both teams earlier in the season at home for the first time since 2006, but will have to do the same on the road. It is essential to win these next two for ranking in the tournament because after Oregon, their schedule gets very tough and a win will not come easy. This was a must-need win for ASU as we get closer to the tournament play. We'll see how they do against Oregon State. That's all from me, Cameron Miner. Cronkite Sports.